Blunderbuss Turkey Success, William Hovey Smith, 2013. I'm the author of Extreme Muzzleloading, and it's not unusual that I take some pretty strange guns into the woods. This is Hovey Smith, the backyard sportsman. And trusty Blunderbuss and I have just concluded a successful turkey hunt. Yep, we sure have. Uh, we are here in central Georgia in Piney Woods, as you can see. And came out before first light, set up out here, pitch black dark, turkey's gobble, turkey's gobble, turkey's gobble, turkey's gobble. And although we tried our most seductive calls, yeah, we sure did. Could not get anything to come to the calls. Well, turkeys here, like everywhere else, move all during the day. So while my partner went somewhere else, I stayed where I was and set up some decoys out on the road that you'll see. And sure enough, two tom turkeys came down the road right there. Bloop, 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 bloop. Now, a blunderbuss has a very short range, about 25 yards. Although I have improved its pattern by using a one-piece plastic wad now. And as the two were walking down, one pulled ahead and gave me a clear shot at the head. And I fired, and it went down instantly. Splat. And this is a one-ounce load of mixed number fives and number seven shots. And so it went down and flopped, and I staggered up and went over, and it tried to get away, uh, stepped on the poor thing's tail and pulled all its tail feathers out, ugh, but killed it. And so now it is lying on the road dead. So, okay, that is good for short range cylinder board gun in anybody's language. The blunderbuss did good. Now it has, it's now rebuilt comb and a barrel which has a nitride finish on it from H&M Coatings of Akron, Ohio. And it was shoot, shooting, as I say, a lead fives and seven shot. What? And fired using a 54 caliber shot cup, which I'll show you in a bit. So let's go look at the decoys and the turkeys. Well, now you see my three decoys and the turkey lying very near where it was shot, just on the opposite side of the road. And from me to there is about the range I was looking for. Yeah, about 25 yards. So we went up there and we really did it. Well, here we have trusty blunderbuss. Yep. And turkey. A uh, nice bird about a two-year-old, uh, about a nine-inch beard, I say, and uh, reasonable spurs. Uh, those are one-inch spurs are, that, are very near. So that's a decent bird. And, of course, blunderbuss. And if you look toward the muzzle, you'll see a plastic wad, and that's actually a 54 caliber wad that I used to hold the shot. And here we have another view with trusty blunderbuss. To catch everybody up with Blunderbuss, here's what it looked like as a kit, and as I deer hunted with it, and I took a swan with it also, and then I made a permanent modification to the comb so it would shoot to the point of aim, actually sighted it in on the range, refinished the stock, got it ready for turkey season, and now have just fulfilled it and got a real live Georgia bird with it. Now, I am the author of Extreme Muzzleloading, and also backyard deer hunting, as well as practical bow fishing and crossbow hunting, and all of these are available as ebooks. Got new ebooks coming out too, an eight book series on muzzle loading. The load I used in this gun was 70 grains of Hodgson's triple seven powder, a hand cut over powder wad, 30 grains of cream of wheat, a 54 caliber sabot from MMP one ounce of mixed shot, hand-cut egg crate over shot wad, Magnum number no. 11 percussion cap. For more information on my books, blogs, videos, go to my website, 
www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.